Alright, what is going on everybody? So, uh, today's going to be an interesting one, but we're going to start it out by, hopefully, opening my insert belt. Because I just got a package and I've been waiting for it for a few days. It got fulfilled about four and a half days ago. Um, so, it, it should be here because usually it takes like months and months and months. But once it gets fulfilled, it should only be two to five days. Um, and it's been like four. So we're going to go check the locker now. Hopefully, I'm praying it's the end of I don't know what else it would be. Um, and then, if it is the end of we're going to unbox it when I get to the gym. But, let's go check up on that real quick. Oh, there's a person here, so I'm actually going to pull into this. And go run and check. So I will be right back. Let's fucking go, baby. Alright, we got the fucking loser belt, finally. Oh my god, you guys have no clue how excited I am for this thing. Just open it now. Let's open it now. Make sure I'm still recording and open it now. Loki. Make sure we're not blurry. I think we're good. Well, Alright, turn this light on. Let's open this shit up. I've been so excited. I feel it's five pounds and it's heavy. It's definitely Inzer Belt. Let's go, man. Inzer has been goaded for me. Like, for everybody else, they've taken like months and months at a time to ship. For me, it's been like really fast. Um, okay. How am I going to open this without a sharp edge? I guess I'm using my key. Let's do this. Yeah, so my, my knee sleeves came in about two, three weeks, and everybody complains about the knee sleeves taking, like, months, and the belt usually also takes four to six months, but I, I made sure to not get a custom color, like, I just got plain-ass black, um, because I know it's the only way they ever have any in stock, and they shipped it in, like, three days of me buying it, and it came in, like, within the week of me buying it, so... Let's go. All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, this thing is third D. Let's go. Oh my God. Holy shit. Compared to my last build, it's crazy. Here's the thing which I gotta put together. I'm gonna probably actually do this in the gym because I'm pretty sure they have a screwdriver for me. What are the instructions? Lever belt. Buckle body, ooh, okay, let me, ooh, turn my car back on, my battery is getting destroyed, apparently. Um, okay. So, we got, put the belt around their waist, estimate which holes to use to be actually fit, lay the belt on the table, place the buckle on top. Because this is putting it together. And this is my receipt. Yeah. Cool. Let's fucking go. Alright. Good way to start the video, for sure. Let's head to the gym. I will put that together in the gym. Um, okay, we can we can start the drive over now. So, uh, I was actually going to say this is probably going to be a shorter video, because well, I'll talk about it in a second, but let's get on the road first. Let's go. I'm so happy, because I'm going home, so I'll talk about why I'm so happy, besides, like, obviously just coming, and I'm excited, but um, I'm going home in, like... Two, three days. So, like, a few of my videos might be... A few of my videos might be in, um... In my other gym, which you guys used to see. Holy weather is awful. Um, but... If I went home without my belt, I probably wouldn't have got my belt for another week or so. Which means I would have had to have... A full... Like, a full week of training without it. Plus another two primary sessions without it. Um, and it takes a while to break in. I want to have it broken in by comp, which I means I only have like eight weeks. And I wear it every day, pretty much. No, I actually wear it every single day. Because if I don't wear it for bench, I wear it for squat. And if I wear it for dead. So I literally wear it every single day. Um, so it should break in within eight weeks, hopefully. I know it takes some time, but if I wear it every day for eight weeks, it should be good. So I want it to come as soon as possible because I need to break it in. And I want to get used to it. So uh, I'm really excited about that. But yeah, so let's talk. So I was gonna make the video shorter today because I'm I'm kind of sick, low key. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I'm just thriving off of uh, two day call right now. 
So I'm like, not like sick, sick, but like I've had a headache for the past. Like you guys saw in my last video, actually, that's when I started to feel it. Like um, in the middle of that workout, when I got my headache, that's when I started to feel it. And it's like the headache kind of hasn't went away in the last like four days. Um, and my nose was really stuffy the last two days. And my throat hurt like two days ago. It doesn't really hurt today. And my nose is still stuffy. Um, and my head is okay right now. But I am on Dayquil. So we'll see. If the session's bad, that's why. But more importantly, hopefully the session is fine. And I get to time my bench press uh, all-time PR today. So it's going to be a single at seven, which is going to tie the, the one I did for a double when I failed at that one time. But... My, my record's 102.5 kilos in comp, or in a gym setting that's a real gym. So I'm going to tie that today, hopefully at 7. Um, my squat, it's the first time I'm doing singles, and the rest of the block is all singles. I'm pretty sure the rest of the training is going to be singles, because I have this block and I have a taper. So I probably have singles for a while now, which is really good. I like singles a lot. Oh my god, my, my windshield wipers are so annoying. Um, so that, that should be good. Um, today we have a single at five squad. It's going to probably be at like four or three because of the ranges again. Um, I convinced my coach to let me do my bench range. So as long as it feels good, I'll tie my PR. And I have leg press, uh, dips and pushdowns, I believe. So today's always fun. Uh, it's just the most compound day for sure. Uh, gym might be packed, but we'll see. Either way, it's going to be a good day. Um, but I don't really want to talk that much because my throat does kind of hurt. Uh, and since we have the little unboxing thing, the video might be a little longer, because I'll, I'll build it on camera, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the gym. Sorry the talk wasn't too long today, but hopefully the, the post-car talk will be longer, uh, but I'll see you guys in the gym. Alright, um, we built the belt, uh, it's a little, like, loose, you can see, like, when I close it, there's still, like, some space, so I think you just have to break it in more, uh, and, like, getting this shit off is, like, a struggle, like I'm trying, genuinely. <clears throat> Still a struggle, oh my god. That's very hard to get off. Holy shit, okay. I do it. Oh my god. Okay. I just want to come off right now. There we go. So, I'm going to put the knee sleeves on. This is the last warm up. Um, these are always a struggle to get on, so. It's really light today, but oh, I'm not gonna put the restart on until my top's it. Alright. Actually, not that bad today. I'm all the way up. I feel like, okay. Um, a little hard to breathe. And I'm sweating a little bit more than normal. But that makes sense, because I'm sick. So, so, hopefully this single moves really fast. And then I'll take top end. Uh, if not, I'll take 110. So. Alright. Let's see how it moves. These are high up right now. Holy shit. Alright. See this moves. You can see how loose it is though, like, it's, like, this is all I have to do right now, I have to suck it at all, so, I should make it a little tighter, but, no, right now, it's okay. The belt buckle is hitting my leg when I go down, so I'm going to wear it a little higher. Alright, as weird as this sounds, the belt buckle hitting my leg at the bottom of the rep is low-key good, because I still hit depth, and it was like perfect, so if the belt buckle is determining that I hit depth, 
it's goaded. So even though it feels a little weird, it might low-key be like a mini hack for me. But that shit moves like butter, so taking the top range here, which is 120, no, 115, I believe. Um, I don't even know what this is, but it's pretty light. Just single, hopefully moves at five. Uh, let's fucking get it. I hit that, that felt like a fucking two. Alright, that literally is the best that's ever moved in my life. That looked fucking crazy. Easy as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. It is light, but that fucking flew. So now we got 3x5 at uh, 101. This is super light. This is gonna fly also, but let's make sure they're all consistent, good reps. That's my goal here. Um, so, we'll see. 3x5, 101, then we go time my fence first. All time to go. So, let's get it. Literal air. Literally air. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. My squats look and feel fucking crazy. Like, considering how bad I felt, I don't know how the hell this is happening, but holy shit, my squats are goaded right now. So, two more sets of five. Make sure I don't cut depth. Right now I look good. Just keep fucking grinding. Two more. This shit feels so good right now. Like, I'm hyped. Because I figured I'm sick, it's gonna feel like dog. I don't know if it's a new belt or what, but it feels fucking good. Let's get it. One more. Feels so good, bro. All right, last set of squats. I mean, we want the bench. So that feels really good right now. So I want to see how this moves. We'll see. Feels really good. I fucking with the belt a lot, even though it's loose. It's like low key perfect right now. So we'll see. Come on. Mm. 
Bench, baby. So it moved well enough that my coach is approving the jump to 102.5. My coach is the one that spotted me. Um, he's going to spot me again. So this is supposed to be an RP8. I'm hoping it moves easier than that, but it's supposed to be an 8. So we'll see. I'm ready, though. I'm excited. Match on the all-time PR right here. Come on. Four by three tempo. My fucking bench moved, baby. Matt's all time PR, seven and a half, undershot the eight for sure. Let's fucking get it. I have four sets at three here, so grind this shit out. Should be easy. Done with bench, leg press.
Easy. All right, well, I was waiting for some bodybuilders there, but I said this shit is fucking hard. No. This is gonna be a PR. I don't know why my camera cut off. Um, with the leg press, I grind the shit out of that crap, but whatever. Um, annoying. This shirt, steelisisle.com. Link in the description. Use code uh, JMO. Let's get through by six, baby. Oh, <laughs> Alright, this is 60 pounds by the way, so it's a decent bit considering I'm heavier than ever also. Two more sets. Come on. Control it. Alright, last set of six, then we go push downs, and we're done. I think he's good. Come on. Alright. Alright. 155, four sets of 10, hopefully. We'll see how hard it is. Three more sets, so that's gonna be hard, but we got it. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Three more sets after this. This and two more. Easy. Come on.
Two more sets. Two more. Come on. Fucking go. Last out of the day, baby. Let's get it. Come on. Easy. Come on. Let's pose. All right. Let's pose. Um, honestly, super, super solid workout. Uh, I'll see how the pump looks, but. If I can get the shirt off, we'll be shit. Oh my bro, it's stuck. <laughs> um, this might be a. Come on. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. Like pump wise, at least. Holy shit. Considering how sick I felt going into this, the fact that I did any of this shit today is crazy, but let's get in the tar, car and uh, I'll talk about it. Alright, so good ass session for sure. Uh, good pump there. Bench moved really well. This guy parked in a super illegal spot, so I don't even know if I can get it up. Oh, I can. Alright, um, so, really, really good session. Um, posing was really hard for whatever reason. I guess it's like, I am still sick, so. Um, let me hold on. Let me fix this. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to drive first. You know what? It's fine. Um, yeah, so. Posing was really, like, I'm still out of breath, you can tell. Um, definitely have a cold. My Dayquil shit ran off, uh, ran out as well. So I should probably take another one of those um, pretty soon, to be honest. But either way, super, super good session. Um, oh, we can go in order, I guess. So squats, uh, I had RP5 single. You guys saw it moves really, really, really well. Um... 
probably moved to like a three or a four, which is really good. Because, I mean, we are undershooting, so that's fine. Backdown's moved like air, like super, super, super light. Bench, I match my all time PR um, for uh, that RP seven and a half, seven. And my, my goal is supposed to be RP eight today. Um, so, had an RP eight bench that I made him up the range. I convinced him to let me up the range. And I knew I could do it, so I'm happy I did because I hit it below an eight anyway. I'm going to match my all time PR. So I'm really excited about that for next week. Um, the back downs also moved really well, super solid. Not much struggle to like the last set, where it's probably like a seven or an eight, which is perfect. Uh, leg press, massive PR, 50 pounds for three sets of 10. Uh, 50 pound PR for three sets of 10. Uh, dips had a five pound PR for three sets of six. So I, I had uh, 60 pounds on the internet, which I'll take happily. Um, and then push downs, I set a five pound PR for four sets of 10. So also super, super solid. Just like a solid session in general. Can't really complain about anything. Um, I can talk a little bit about the belt. Um, the Inzer belt felt really, really good. Obviously it's still like not broken at all. I literally just got it, you guys saw in the beginning. Um, we were having a little bit of trouble putting it together. So I think the, the holes probably aren't screwed in all the way. So that's why it wasn't like clipping all the way. But low key, I might just keep it like that because what I discovered when I was talking to my coach and I was like, hold up, this could be goaded. Um, whenever I'd go down, um, the belt buckle would like touch my like leg. Um, and I know I hit exact perfect depth that I need to hit. And then I just go right up whenever I felt that. And I just like consistently did that for a little bit. And I'm not going to lie. My squat was flying. So... I might low-key just keep that like that and just see if I even need to change it. I really don't think I'm going to need to change it. Okay, this person is really dumb. Huh? I really don't need to change it, I don't think. So I will happily take that. Squats move really well. We'll see how it is for deads tomorrow. I'm going to record tomorrow as well because, like I said, I haven't had comp deads on the channel in a minute. So I want to record some comp deads tomorrow, even though it's going to be a single what's light and a three-count bench, but it's fine. I'll also get some back work in. Um, so we'll see how the belt feels for, for deads. It might not be tight enough for deads. That might be the only problem. So uh, we'll see. But overall, really, really good session. Um, I felt fine, like, towards, like, the middle. Like, when I was starting with squats, like, I still definitely felt, like, kind of shitty. Okay, I guess this person's just going to go. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going? I'm so confused. Okay. This person just wants to hit me or something? I don't really understand what you're doing. Uh, the school is letting out right now, so traffic is bad. You can tell my throat hurts, I think, from my voice. Um, my throat does not feel good now. So I was saying, like, when I was squatting, like, my first few sets, like, I started sweating, like, right at 8 a.m. right now, which always happens to me whenever I'm sick and I, like, try to push myself, but I always just sweat like a demon. So I started sweating like crazy, and I was like, okay, hey, damn, it's going to feel, like, really bad. And then, like, I guess the day weather kicked in, or I just, like, my adrenaline kicked in when I got, like, towards my top set, and then my top set felt amazing. My back down felt amazing. Bench the whole entire time felt amazing. Um, and then just now, when I started to, like, finish with like dips i i finally felt like uh sick again like not sick but like like i do right now which makes sense because my day quill was four hours um and it wore off about an hour an hour ago so uh i'll take it really good session um hopefully i feel better a little bit better tomorrow and then my dad's and everything is good tomorrow as well and then i probably won't see you guys until i'm back home in my uh, my old gym so I don't know if I'm going to use kilos or pounds, but all I know is that that Friday when I have my primary bench again, I'm going for an all-time PR like with pounds or kilos, no matter what, because it's at nine and then it resets back to five. So I get to really push my bench next week. Obviously not to failure, but like I can push it. So I might ask my coach if I can just like put on five kilos. And I think that would be like, uh, like 236 or something which is a crazy all-time PR for me. Um, and hopefully it moves at, like, like, hopefully I don't fail and it moves at, like, a nine. So if I can convince him to let me do that, I'll be really happy. I have no clue what I'm squatting next week, but it's going to be on pounds. So I'll probably push everything a little bit more next week because pounds is supposed to be easier. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'm going to film either of those days either because I don't want to just film primary days, although I just, they're definitely the most entertaining and the most shit I do. 
but like just filming the same primary day over and over again has got to be boring for you guys to just watch the same shit over and over. So I'm not going to say I'm going to film that or anything yet, but we'll see. Um, my first session at home will be that. So if I, I'm probably not going to film for the rest of the week besides like tomorrow because I already filmed my, my pause squad day, which is my Monday. And I already filmed obviously today. So I just have tempo squats and I film pause dead. So it's literally just tempos and the day I have tomorrow. The tempos are super boring to watch because they're just super, super light, perfect on form. Um, and then it's like pretty much like a nothing day. So if I film, maybe I'll do that after deads, but that will be like on Wednesday. I'll be home already by then actually. So no matter what, next time you see me, like my next video will be my deads, hopefully posted tomorrow or the next day. And then after that, next time you'll see me will be when I'm at my home gym. So yeah, sorry the energy's low today. Um, I do feel kind of sick still, but... Super solid workout. Can't complain about anything. Form looked really good on everything. So I'll see you guys in the next one.